Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm just gonna show you really quickly how we make homemade ice cream in the summer for like a dollar. It's really great, really cheap, and it's really, really convenient to make it this way. It is my son's fourth birthday, and we are gonna do homemade ice cream and cupcakes, and I thought I would show you how inexpensive it is to make ice cream this way. There's no hassle, there's no rock salt, there's no churning, there's no sitting on it. Like it is so fast and simple that we make it really often in the summer. So this is all you need. And um, the way that I do this is with this ice cream maker. I'm serious, this is really an ice cream maker. It doesn't look like it, but it is. So we got this as a wedding present. Um, back when we got married, man, it has been the funnest present we got in the kitchen. And it's an ice cream maker and you can do frozen yogurt too. All you need for this is one cup of milk, three fourths a cup of sugar, a tablespoon of vanilla, like a dash of salt, and two cups of heavy cream. And this is what is like a dollar something at the store. And this is all I have to pick up when we wanna make homemade ice cream because I always have sugar, I always have vanilla, and I always have milk. So all you have to do is combine them in a bowl, let it sit for one to two hours. We like to let it sit overnight because it gets really, really thick I don't know, I just find that it tastes better and it's a thicker consistency if we do it that way. And then we put it in the ice cream maker and it's so delicious. So let me show you how to make it. So I have about three of these in my freezer so that I can make three things of ice cream, potentially, depending on how many people I have over. let sit for about 24 hours. That's what it looks like after sitting in the fridge for about a day. Okay, so this is what's gonna churn it and it comes with it. Place it in there and then you're gonna pour your mixture. like this and then here's the lid we're gonna place on top and make sure it's snug and that is it we push on and it's gonna go for about 15 to 20 minutes All right, so it's been about 20 minutes and you can see it's like getting slower and it's also overflowing. So all you do is take it off and you can just put it in the freezer like this or you can eat it immediately. I like to put it in the freezer for just a bit because it really thickens it up. Now, if you're gonna make another one, you need to take this out I am not, so I'm just going to leave it. I'm gonna wrap it in foil and put it in the freezer until it's time for us to eat in a couple hours. Right, 
so I am going to link this down below. I love this gift. It's really inexpensive. I think the red one is around $40. Um, which I mean a regular ice cream maker at Walmart you're probably gonna pay like 20 or 30 bucks and this is really really convenient but it does come with like a recipe book and there's a lot of different ones I really haven't tried a lot of them I've just kind of done my own thing so some of the things I've tried is as it's finishing up at the end I will throw in mini chocolate chips and it's kind of like a chocolate chip cookie dough-ish ice cream that you would get like at blizzard except not the cookie dough but that's what it reminds me of you can also drizzle in like chocolate syrup towards the end um you can also cut up really really tiny bits of fresh strawberries and throw it in it's really good that way and then something i have not tried but i'm excited to i bought almond extract so i could put like a teaspoon of almond and then I bought lemon extract. So those are some ways that you could also add flavor without really doing much. Now this does have a ton. There's also frozen yogurt ones. There's like healthier option ones. There's dairy free ones. But those are some of the things that I've tried and we have loved it. I love to give this as a gift for people when they get married. It's really fun. I'm gonna link it down below um, so you can check it out if you'd like. I'm gonna show you the final result whenever we're eating it tonight, but other than that, that is it. And it's only like a dollar for ice cream. Now, obviously if you have a huge family, it may not be ideal for you unless you have a lot of freezer tubs like I do. And you can just like quickly do more, but I mean, hey, come on. Like I just pushed a button. I now have homemade ice cream. All right, so it's been a couple of hours and it's way thicker since it's been sitting. So yummy. Do you think that is yummy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is pretty yummy. All right guys, and that is all. It's very tasty, super easy and quick. Hope y'all enjoy, see you again next time. Can you say bye? Bye.